Hey guys, welcome back. Looks like we're fighting a big old sand lion. Also known as a giant disgusting worm creature. Give it a punch, Freya. Wing Garnet. Wing B. You can slow it first. How's everyone's health doing? Queen is gonna have to start healing people soon. Counter hard. 105. Hmm, yeah, time to start healing. We only have seven potions. Better use them kind of wisely. So Queener isn't getting any. Let's save him actually. He can take a little bit more damage. I wish Garnet was here. Steal it. Gimme the loot, gimme the loot. Always goes dark when he attacks. That one hit pretty hard. Burn the son of a bagel, Vivi. Sunstorm. What's this gonna do? Ooh, don't like that sound. What the f ah. Damn it. That's not fair at all. Well, rest in peace, we're dead. We are actually 100% screwed here. Unless Vivi one-shots it. Come on, Vivi, I believe. Okay, let's use a Phoenix Pinnacle on her. Miss. Oh, damn it, we're blind, we're dead. We're screwed! Let's, um... Cure's KO. Let's do one in Freya as well. What? It only gives four health. Useless. Thought it would be better than that. Potion on whoever this doesn't hit. Never mind, you're dead. We got any high potions? No. This is really, really, really bad. Oops, that was the wrong one. Oh well, let's hope he hits Freya next. Damn it, Freya's getting all of them. Fire. On the one person who I didn't want it on. God damn you, let's see if Phoenix Down does any more. What? Stop! Stop using potions on Freya, damn it! Gonna do all of this and then he's gonna do a sandstorm again, I bet ya. Don't do it on Vivi. 192. Right, come on, Vivi. Kill this stupid bug. We're depending on you now. Fundara, right up his ass. Should I just blast all my potions? Guess I'm gonna have to. This one might be a reload though, to be honest. It's been pretty nasty. Might have to change my, uh, some of my abilities. Damn it, I hate this moon. It's so strong. It's not fair. Let's regen everyone, I forgot about that. That'd come in very handy here. Oh, we've got two trances. I wonder if Vivi can double heal when with his trance. Oh no, he can't, can he? It's double black. Oh well, have a little bit of health. Fundara. Come on, Vivi, we need you to carry us. Kill a stupid son of a... Son of a... Bagel. Don't have any potions left. Rest in peace. I should give some healing. Fundara, Fundara. Just 
I'm hoping we get lucky now. Doesn't heal much. Zidane's dead. Hmm. Just gonna have to attack and hope for the best. I'll have to jump with Freya soon. But she's... Vivi's gonna die if I do. Saying that, Vivi's got more health now, actually. Maybe I'll jump. Hmm. This isn't good. I think Zidane... Oh! Oh! It's dead! Nice! Don't know how we did it, but somehow... Somehow we managed to kill it. Even though it had a crazy... Kill everyone ability. Oh. No experience for the dead ones, that's sad. Anointment. And we lost a lot of potions. Are you alright, your highness? Hey Freya, what's up? But how can this be? I heard that your highness disappeared upon leaving Bermesia. Uh, yeah. Well, let us go at once to the cathedral to inform his majesty. My old man, huh? Nah, I don't want to see him. Just tell him I said I said hi, okay? Later. But your highness. Take care of Vivi. He's so rude. Vivi, much nicer. I agree. That's, that's the best thing she said so far. He's the first friend I ever had. I've got to tell him something. He's not your friend, Vivi. I see. So you saw Puck, eh? Is he still a little f as mischievous as ever, your majesty? I haven't seen him in ages. Damn it, he's back. I heard his highness left Promethea one month after me. That makes it three years. And yet, both you and Puck decided to return to me in this time of danger. I am grateful. Freya, we shall conduct an ancient ceremony to strengthen the sandstorm. Surely no enemy of ours would attack with the powerful storm protecting Clara. And with the help of a dragon knight like you, the storm should grow even more powerful. Ah, the ceremony. From the time when Bermesia and Clara were one. I understand. Zidane, I met with utter failure. Zidane, I met with utter failure when trying to defend Bermesia. And I will not allow Brane to exert her will upon us any longer. You've changed, Freya. I didn't think you were so strong when I first met you. I could not bring peace to Bermesia, and thus fulfill Sir Fratley's wish. But now, all I can do is protect this beautiful place. Yeah, protecting Clara is the best thing you can do for yourself. Doing so will help me. Looks like they're gonna have a dance-off. Wonder if Randy Marsh is gonna hop in. Don't break my heart, my achy breaky heart. If you ever wondered, this is how rats dance. Guess they're Irish rats. Tickling their tails together. Well, I'm glad I don't have to uh, control this or anything. Two people in the back don't look very impressed. Is that supposed to be the king and queen? It looks like they both have a moustache. Guess they're whiskers. Maybe it's a high priest or something. High priest and the king. And all the babes. All the rat babes. Get your rat out. Now it actually has more meaning than one. What an impressive rat dance. Hmm. Oh no! The strings have snapped. Thank God for that. 
A terrible omen this is. No, the sunstorm. What was that song called again? Jurayed Sunstorm? Must have been. Well, the tree looks a lot nicer without it. It's a big old tree. But I guess they're in danger now. I can't believe the sunstorm disappeared. What happened? I don't know. But isn't the sky much more pretty? I have never witnessed anything like this since we lit since we settled here. On the harp, there is a magic stone. Since ancient times, we have used the power of the stone to control a sunstorm. Perhaps someone is trying to invade Clara. I feared that you might be right, my lord. I only hope our enemies don't come up the trunk. No one wants enemies coming up your trunk, trust me. How dare they imprison us like this? Those wretched court jesters. Zorn and Farm will never get away with this. I can't believe I got dragged into this. No one asked you to meddle in our affairs. It's pretty sad, getting backstabbed by your own queen. This is all some kind of a mistake. I know the queen, she would never betray me. Wishful thinking. Who knows what she's going to do with the princess? I must save the princess at all costs. Here she is. I wonder if Mother will even listen to me. Why did she attack Bermesia? And why did she arrest us like this? Is she in a cozy jail? I must be sincere with her. Very nice room. She hasn't been herself lately. Actually, she's been acting rather strange since my birthday last year. The same day that man visited us, visited us. Maybe he had something to do with it. Come to think of it, that was when things began to change. Dr. Todd left Alexandria shortly afterwards, too. What happened that day? God damn it. Beavis and Butthead. Queen Brownie summoned you. Come with us. What? How dare you speak to me like that? Quiet. With us, you are coming, and that is that. What was that phrase? Oh yeah, f*** you. Get off me, you scumbag. That also works. What was that? I do not understand. Understand what she said, I do not either. Enough, now come with us. Oh dear. Hurry up, the trollop wants to see you. For so long, the queen has waited. It's a nice rose carpet. Very thick. Mother. Darling, there you are. Where were you? I've been worried sick. Here, come closer. Mother, there is something I need to ask you. What is it, darling? I will tell you anything you wish to know. Do you have a sister called Queener? Did you, is it true that you are responsible for the, for the destruction of Bermesia? Oh, well, no wonder you look so concerned. That is far from the truth, Garnet. You see, those Bermesian rats have been plotting to destroy Alexandria for some time. I couldn't just wait for them to attack and destroy our precious kingdom. So, I had no choice but to take initiative. Mother, is that really the truth? Of course. Bullshit. I don't believe you. 
Oh, darling, what's wrong? Why wouldn't you believe your mother? Here's Kuja. May I also pay a part in this act? Act? Yes, an act from a beautiful play. There is a knight on a white horse. And a beautiful princess. That is a tale of tragic love. Overcome by grief, the princess must sleep for a hundred years. You, I've seen you before. It appears we were designed destined to meet again. My sweet angel, come to me. I will take you to a world of dreams. He does have a nice dress. She is beautiful, even in sleep. Hmm. Impudence, little girl. Zorn, Farn, bring me more cake. Prepare to extract the Eidolons from Garnet. Oh no, they're gonna steal her summoning abilities. But... This is gonna be a long episode. A bleated happy birthday, princess. Hee <laughs> hee Get to watch Beavis and Butter do some dirty sh stuff to her. 16 years old. Damn it. The princess has become. Draw the ideas from her. Finally, we can. Very disgusting. Idolins of eternal life. Arise from the 16 years sleep. Let there be light. They're gonna steal her tampons. The time has come. Odin, warrior of the dark, come forth. Oh, channeling Odin. Wonder if he's gonna come out with his hammer. Wonder how he got in there. What are you doing here? Tell me, why do you think the sandstorm disappeared? I don't know, but isn't the sun nicer? I was surprised that there was even a sandstorm. Did you know the sandstorm was here for a thousand years? And in all that time, it never disappeared. Not even once. Perhaps Branny is behind all this. No doubt she is. What about that guy who was with Branny? Actually, I'm more concerned about that guy with Branny than Bermisio was. That man. I wonder who he was. Sedane, I'm going to head down to find out why the sandstorm disappeared. Hey, I was thinking the same thing. Let's go together. I'm gonna find Vivi and Queena. I'll meet you at the town entrance. Maybe we'll leave Queena here. Anyway, this has been a really long one, so I'll end the episode here. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and see you next time. Bye!